I could come back here from any other hatch without anyone trying to kill me. It's been a hard day's night, that was. Arthur, D -d don't leave me here. Do you remember Percy? Of course I remember Percy. He's my brother. It's just... People forget things. Oh no. Miss Victoria said he was dim. But he wasn't. He was smart. And he never lied. Most people lie all the time. Did you know that? Yes. I'm afraid I'm one of them. But you're good, Arthur. Percy said so. I'm gonna find him. I promised I'll take care of him. Do you know where he is? Somewhere in Germany? Or Russia? Is that very far away? Yes. Eddie! Who did this to you? Was it a Playboys? Do fuckers, I'll kill him! You're a decent sort to bring him in. We'll take care of him, don't you worry. Here, have a drink on the apes. Have you been sleeping all right? Did you find Percy yet? Couldn't be better, thanks. What can I do for you today? busy. What is it? Gemma's been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a pop- Oh my goodness. Why? But she was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. I, I, I followed up. The whole underground is sort of falling apart. Oh my. That's why you sent her, wasn't it? Not to write about the tunnel, rats. I certainly couldn't print a story like that, could I? The joy's gone bad, and Dr. Verloc knows. But he's telling them not to worry. He's got some sort of permanent solution. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Well, that's sort of exactly what I thought. If I had a press pass, I could get into Hayworth Labs. And my old adulator, if you still got it. After what happened to Gemma? Dr. Verloc, he's sort of his own law there. I have some personal business there. If I'm not here when you get back, if you found something out, See if you can't publish it. Those numpties out there know how to put the ink on the page, but the only articles they ever read are their own. You're getting out? How? Oh, 
I wouldn't even know how to get out. But you never know when I might stop printing lies. And they won't like that. Great! I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. You can show up all sorts of places regular people shouldn't go. I told him the labs was Should all clear locked up down. Soon, I imagine. They right don't listen right. anymore. Right right. Well, you certainly laid out. Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger off! I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of. Uh, well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Best come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just uh, follow the sort of brown-coloured line. I must ask you not to stray from the path, because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? I'm not sure the workers here will have the same respect for a press boss as the Bobbies did. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. I'm so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed Do into the lab. Turn down the heat on the rominating reaction until you've noticed the temperature curve. Oh. So much for 
work is safety. Ow! What on earth? Can't we work something out? No? Sorry to bother. I wonder which one of these controls the steam. Or do they both? I feel so chivalrous turning off that dangerous steam. If that is indeed what I did. Maybe I can sneak past these gents without a fuss. Dr. Burlock would like all personnel to know that he must not be disturbed for the next hour at least. Please hold all inquiries until then. We'll resolve the situation yourself. I guess this is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drove the subject insane. Oh, Lord. A big, big red, red button. button. I wonder what it opens. <laughs> I feel rather brilliant right now. down my blocks in nursery. Can't we just agree to disagree? I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally, and it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. And he gave me such a thrashing. Why would I remember that right now? Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. 
No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir, but there's a fellow here says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Burlock would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. <coughs> I've always liked you, actually. Phrenology? Was that supposed to be ironic? I thought you were only supposed to give someone a piece of your mind. <laughs> God, is that an original? Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly. But they did. You can't do that! Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? 
This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Now, where's the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted? This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. Hello. I'm in a haunted house movie. Sally's ridiculous cod liver oil had better be down here, or I shall be cross. Listen. Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. This doesn't look like where the pills go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. Drain? To where? The river? Might be a way out. If I don't mind pausing in the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. Pushed, or were they flushed? Ah, a hatch. Lovely. I've never seen so many hatches in my entire life.
all appreciate what you do. After nearly getting me killed, she better have my bloody letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really th think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad? While you were living in our house? In my mum's bed? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be OK? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Mm. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Do you think she really meant it? The kiss and all? What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you and... They lived happily ever after. No! A girl like that shipwrecks and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again. I can't keep doing this. Lovely day for it. May I see your letter of transit, please? Welcome to the parade, sir. And may I say you've arrived not a moment too soon. What do you mean, Constable? A word to the efficient is sufficient, sir. If you catch my drift. I would not count on this bridge remaining operational in the near future. Nudge, nudge, smirk, smirk. Say no more, say no more. We like to work, are we? Like trains, Arthur. Are you joking? You love trains. Do you remember when we went to Plymouth on that train? You didn't want to get off. That was in 1941. Yeah, it must have been. I... I... I, I don't want you to go to Germany. You think I want to go? I don't know where we're going, I don't know what they're going to do with us there, and who knows if we're ever really coming back. But I don't have much of a bloody choice, do I? Who would talk to me? When you're gone. Dad talks to you. Well, no, I suppose he doesn't really. But he does love you. I believe you, Arthur. He's just really rubbish at showing it. Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. Ah. Oh. The parade, just like I pictured it. Strange to be back here. How long ago was it I used to just trundle off to work every day, right around here? Now I just need to get into the broadcast tower so I can get into Appleholm Station and find the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. Now is the time to dare and endure. Right, Mr. Churchill? Where did they go to the Fashion Institute? I bought some trousers there. Bloody expensive too. 
If I remember correctly, they've got a hatch in their basement. Good thing Sally taught me to be nosy. Who knows when I might need to get to a bed? I should see if I can get down there. How dare he cancel on me? I don't care if he's double booked. He was nothing before I taught him how to walk. Uh, I know. I, I know how to model. Sorry, love. Tits ruin the drape. Buy me a new male model. Too sweet. That was fast. Hmm. Right height. Right build. Bit tan for my taste. You're new, aren't you? Never mind. If you're Quintin scent, you're probably not hopeless. I just hope to God you can strut. Go downstairs and ask Nigel what to do. I'm gonna have to do this stupid fashion show to get it, aren't I? Maybe the models can tell me how not to make a complete fool of myself up there. Good show. I can't wait to see how they fixed up Lud's home. rather need you to stop buggering yourself and open the fucking door. You seem not entirely delighted? Stage fright. The last time I tripped on the catwalk, Davy locked me in a fucking closet for three days. I could use a shot of whiskey, but all we have in this wretched place are drugs. Thank God. Can you believe he made me tape up my tits? Like that girl who played Dorothy in that old movie about the shoes. Oh, that helps. I'll let you in on a little modeling secret. I toss the crowd a bouquet. They love that. All those lads want to be brides, but it's not gonna happen, is it? Take a few more of these and I wouldn't be a downer anymore. I'm not like these wastrels. I could just take my joy and have done. Fuck! My pants ripped! Davy will kill me. You wouldn't have a sewing kit. Would you like this? Thanks, Azil. Now the whole crowd won't have to see my knickers. I'm sort of... new. Got any advice? Try a fierce I'm-watching-you move. Jolly good fun! You look like a ghost. You are the one, aren't you? I'm a bit fucked up. But Candyman said it was a Sally special, but... But he lied. I'd kill several innocent people for a flash. Do you know any innocent people? I don't either. You're a lifesaver. Uh, any advice? For the catwalk? Do a cheeky little bang-bang gesture. They love that. man's on a rampage. I wouldn't ask him for a raise today.
the crowd's restless, dearie. Go out there and fucking wow them. Just strut to the spots marked with X and show yourself off. And quickly, we'll get going then. You are capable of walking ten feet, aren't you? Oh, and whatever you do, don't fuck up. Okay, and on your mark, and work it. Be fierce, Arthur. Be fierce. Fiercest. How does it feel to be one of the beautiful people? Hopeless. You're utterly sung charisma. I'm not surprised you're homeless. Say. Mr. Hackney, it's a bit late, and I sort of live on the other side of town. Would it be too much trouble? I suppose you did do me a favour. Here, get some beauty sleep. Not that it'll help. Good. Now I won't need to cross bridges to get here. They seem to be a lot more serious about the plague here. It must be spreading fast. Not a pleasant thought. Right, Toe. I'm glad 
I'm not a Bobby, if that's how well they're taking right. care of Bobby poppers these days. You know, I think we wear the same size. Oh. Look, it's not... Oh, it's me. Let's get the rest of the lads. Glad I'm not a Bobby. as long as these pop it. Right out. It's sloppy of them to leave all the works exposed like that. What if someone were to have an unfortunate accident and break things? Police force seems to be out in force. Uh, Looks like it's rather well maintained. I wonder if I can change that. It's a bit naughty of me, wasn't it? I don't think that's working anymore. I know it <laughs> it's not personal. Oh dear, that's not working anymore either. Things have come to a pass indeed. There. 
All that bother. I don't even have plague. I don't see why you can't unquarantine the pie shop. Cook is beside herself. My dear lady, if we lift the quarantine gate on the pie shop for you, we'd have to lift every quarantine gate for anybody. No, you wouldn't. I'm not anybody, am I? You perish the thought, madam. You can just do it for me. I'm afraid we actually can't. Our quarantine control grid needs uh, a framistat. We've ordered a new one from the Department of Scientific Research. I'm throwing a dinner on Friday. I expect you to get your frammy whatever and unquarantine the pie shop, or I shall have to explain to the Minister of Health why we have no pie. I wonder if there's some sort of blight that's turning all the vegetables bad. years into the future. That would be the year 1984. Yes, it sounds like a very long way away, doesn't it? But 1984, closer than you think. Now, if I were to disable the quarantine gates, where would I be? Well, if it's not down here, I bet it's in that office. Hargreaves, there's the vulcanizer gas dot. We need to adjust the flow mechanism. Stairs and see what's wrong with it. Not locked, of course. Can't have the staff running in and out asking questions, can we? I'm solving a very difficult equation. Leave me in peace. Apparently, Confucius was wrong. The way in is not by the door. Someone please send Hargreaves up here. I can't be down on the floor all the time chasing people. Ow! you actually. <coughs> Please don't make a fuss. Why are we 
doing this to each other. I don't like it out there. Why are you doing this? The really solid. I need a gun to break it. Or a cannon. Whoa. to disagree. It's a prototype for some sort of torch you use in the kitchen. Doesn't seem to have all its bits. I wonder if I could find something around here. An electrowave stimulator. What does it do? I suppose it stimulates electrowaves. That doesn't sound right. Seems to be missing a battery. seems to turn mottling crystals into gas. A lot of gas would charge up that cannon. I'll probably need some sort of valve handle to unblock this, I think. This seems to be in operating condition. These machines don't seem to be in tip-top condition, do they? Now. We do have someone named Hargreaves. I haven't completely lost my mind, have I? I suppose you're who I have to thank for the hole in my wall. Oh, did knock. Don't be silly. Do you know how long I've been asking them to fix the hot flash? I can't even remember. Oh, uh, the power cell was missing. Oh, for heaven's sake. They said they had to wait for a part. Look, without help or even a manual, you fixed three machines and triggered a chain reaction. Yes. Well... Sorry about that. I need a chap who can figure things out. Would you like a job? Uh, oh, uh, I'm afraid I'm sort of trying to get out of town. Why? 
This is the best of all possible worlds. Nothing gets done, but everyone's happy. You seem sort of exasperated, actually. Well, don't tell anyone, all right? How are you getting past the quarantine gates without a Framistad? I was hoping to get one from, uh, here? They've been pestering me for one. Tell you what, I'll give you one, and when you're done with it, give it to them from me. Oh, that's very kind of you. I will. Here, look around. If there's something else you can use, take it. 